On to race number two then, and the second on the programme, class four, 1400 metres this time, headed by Super 10, who was a last start winner, beating leading fortune, who's come out and won again. Jerry Chow takes seven off his back. All You Want makes his debut for Richard Gibson and Tony Bacone from barrier number four. Packing Mars was last on his debut just before Christmas, gets up from the 12th to the 1400. Starship, Pisa, course and distance winner, that came uh, last season, drops from the 18 back to the 1400 metres here. Sam's Love, fourth to Charity Grace last time out. We've got Champion Pride getting up. Up in trip looking for his first win as his golden bow from 1000 up to the 1400 here and down to Sweetly Baby who is a winner it was on the all weather quite impressive as well back in November he also drops from the 18 back to the 1400 meters Savvy Kingman Starship and Golden Bowl time are the horses that have been up at Chungfu in the last month Probably two thirds of the field like to get back in this race. So again, might only be moderate the tempo here, but Super 10 was able to lead all of the way last time out. He got gate number nine for Rogeri Chow, packing uh, miles only having his second run. He was handy on debut. Golden Bowl has dropped 25 pounds coming into this was slow out. So maybe a little bit of a, a question mark uh, where he ends up because he was slow out in a recent barrier trial. Golden Link with the blinkers off King's Horn. The newcomer, all you want, hasn't shown much speed at all in his barrier trial. So he's likely to get back. I thought I'd show him anyway because he is a first starter all you want, but I agree what you're saying. Uh, 11.55 pounds, he's had those four trials, he's been slow away, most of them, but you can make your own mind up, you can see him there for yourself, he's by Fastnet Rock, is the three all you want. Land Power, thought he came out of a strong form race last time and he goes nicely in his work, just a nice easy piece, but he's a very fit horse. Uh, Karis Teton will be aboard once again on Land Power, did ride him at his last start. And the other one we're looking at here is Son of Macfie, a horse who gets back and runs on. And I thought his work was pretty good. He shows he's uh, come to hand quite well here, and he's quite keen in his work. You can see the, uh, Matthew Poon, just, uh, the horse was just pulling a little bit there for him. All right, there's plenty of money for him this early stage as well. We're going to start off with his Super 10. Can he repeat the dose of his winning run last time under Jerry Chow? We caught up with Jerry this week to find out. Jerry, Super 10, uh, what were your thoughts on the win on him last time out? Yeah, last time he felt like he like win easily, and, and he... He gave me the gave me a good confidence in the track, and and I sh I sh I'm sure he he very competitive in the, on the cast four. Yes. Just looking at him, he hadn't won a race up until that point. But is he the type of horse that the stable has always had a good opinion of? Yes. Um, and but but this time he he got a not a beautiful barrier and. And hopefully he's just Sam Penn and just go forward and and controlling the pace and in the streak I think he will give me the good finish. Is he still an improving horse? Uh, yes, yes. Um, just he is a happy horse and he he feeling fresh in the stable. Yeah, I think he's good. And how's your own form, Jerry? As we get towards the halfway mark of this season, how do you feel your riding? Um, it's just I think my riding and my my fitness is slowly improved and and keep improving and I feel stronger um, every month I feel stronger because my boss training me like every every week and yeah he he he's, he saw my improve and and yeah. What are some of the things that you and Douglas are working on together? Uh, we are working the uh, fitness like uh, uh, the wooden horse training and the, the core training the. The tough chaining is, is chaining the mind as well. Yeah. yeah. He's absolutely flying, Jerry. A good mentor in Douglas White as well. 26 uh, winners he's had for the season coming into the meeting. Super 10 just has to overcome barrier number nine and the rest of his rivals, which we can have a look at uh, now. Guys, starting with Land Power. Uh, Tom Sam's love and Golden Link all engaged here of a course and distance last time. So he had three runs land power. He's been beaten two and a half and two and then two and three quarters in this most recent one. So he's been there or thereabouts, but he keeps improving his uh, places, does uh, land power. I certainly think he's a, a chance in a, a race like this. Sam's love, he's a well rated horse because the last one came off 50. He's on a mark of 48 and he's uh, got Zach Purton teaming up for here, Paul, with Dennis Ship. Got them both in. I think this is quite a strong form race, authentic champ, and also Charity Grace, two nice horses that. Uh, did beat those two, so I've got them both, and I think they're both really good chances. OK, I imagine this horse is probably a half a chance as well, Paul. Son of Macfie, two starts uh, back. He was behind uh, My Sugar, who go around in the last race on the day. This is behind Casemiro last time out. Yeah, so a nice uh, run from him, I thought, Son of Macfie. He gets back, so he has to have a little bit of luck, and um, he, from barrier number two, they might just be tempted to 
to be a little bit more positive from the draw. But look, the horse keeps improving. He's running some good races. So you're right. I think he's one of the major chances as well. He had a good run midfield on this occasion. The turn, I thought he boxed on pretty well over the final stage. He's beaten two and a half. So uh, he keeps on uh, running decent races. So I think a, a winning turn is not too far away for uh, that horse out of the David Hall stable. He's actually a second favourite at this stage, son of Mag Fee. But it's Super 10, Paul, who's favourite to go back to back. Got him in Super 10. But I'm going to go with the, the four here, Land Power. Just think he, he's improving, comes out of that strong form race. Son of McPhee, uh, likewise, is going nice at the moment from limited starts. Super 10 was impressive. He can, if he can back that up, he'll be right in this. And then Sam's Love. 4, 13, 1 and 10 in race number 2. 10, 13, 1 and 2. He hasn't been overly prolific through his career, Sam's Love, but I think he's building to another win down on a mark now for 48, Zach Pertin and Dennis Ship. Zach's got a good record overall on this horse, so Sam's Love. There's a seven-year-old, so he's getting on. Son of McPhee has been improving. Super 10 led all the way last time out. And Golden Link, uh, he's dropped 22 pounds, this horse, and he's got the blinkers coming off. He did little last time out, but he hadn't been too far away in his prior runs. So 10, 13, 1 and 2. We're all working around similar sort of numbers there. 1 and 13 is uh, my cue there. Super 10 and son of McPhee. All right, race number three next up for us. Good race as well. We step onto the all-weather. It's a class one over the 1650.